but that's why I tell you, like, I take every moment with you, you know, serious. Like, that's precious time, because in a few years or whenever this blows up, you know, it's bigger than us. We know that, but whenever this blows up, like, we we won't have moments like that too tough. You know, it'll be moments, but it'll be like business. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really out here getting it now. You know what I'm saying? We doing it now, but it's like them humble beginnings where you committed and where you got where you became dedicated. Cause see, people think dedicated and commitment is, is the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's two totally different things. When you dedicated to something, you're saying I'm willing to take this step to put in the effort. But when you commit it, it's all in. You know what I'm saying? So it's different. It's it's not the same thing. It's not like cause you can be dedicated to football and then go to a few press and be like, nah. I ain't with it, you know, this ain't for me. But when you committed, that's you telling coach and telling yourself like no matter what, no matter if I don't start, no matter if I get hit, no matter if the pain hurt, no matter if I don't like the workouts, I'ma stick, I'ma stick it through. Like I'ma see it through. But when you dedicated, you can start something, quit something, because it's not rewarding you in the way you thought it was gonna happen for you. And that's why people quit things every day because they get these great ideas and they be like, man, it didn't happen for me in a year. It didn't happen for me in two years, so I'm gonna just quit. Like, what you quitting for life? You gonna be dropping your whole life. Like if you waste some time at a job for 40 years, or 20 years, and you know what I'm saying, your motivation was I got a family to take care of, which is admirable, that's great. But then what if you didn't have that family? What if you didn't have that reason to drive? You'll quit, you'll quit that too. Like you be quitting every time you do something. Like, man, okay. Like, I'm, 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 thinking, I'm thinking about that. We should, be, we should be getting this on camera, but it don't even really matter about it's that. It's on. Huh? It's already cool. Really? That's smart. But I'm just saying like, so when you think about, when you think about stuff like that, it's like, wow, you know, you'll be quitting. You'll be start, you'll be starting and stopping some every single time life gets hard or every single time a challenge happens or every single time an obstacle happens, you'll be quitting. Like, I, I don't want you to be a quitter. That's not how I want to raise my kids. I, I'm recommending you don't raise your kids like that either. Don't raise them to be weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't start something. If you start something, have, have the courage, have the commitment to see it through. Like, I'd be like, wow, thank you God just for enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people be like, you know, this is too hard. And I get it. It's going to get hard at times, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to suck. It's going to suck at some points. But it's like when you just realize why you started and you realize the reason why you realize the drive for you doing what you do. It's big when you realize the picture is bigger than you because realizing and saying it, but when you honestly get it that the picture is bigger than you, like you'll never quit. Like, because you'll start seeing it like, man, I don't have the time that I think I have. Like, it's to the point now where you're gonna be all in and you're gonna be all out. Like, when you say go, you gotta stop looking at everything as a hundred meter dash. Like, it's not gonna be a sprint and you're gonna finish. Like a lot of this, a lot of this, a big part of it is a marathon. Like you're gonna have to pace yourself. You're gonna have to run some. You're gonna have to jog some. You're gonna have to walk some. You may even have to crawl some. You know, you're gonna experience some fatigue. You're gonna experience some breakdown. You're gonna experience some pain. You're gonna experience some burn. You're gonna experience some hurt. But when you're going through all that, it's like, man, you know, once you finally get that rest and you finally can get that rest, it's, it, it, it's like a building. And then when you start back, you feel like I got a new level of strength because I went through. But if you just break at the first sign that your, that your knees buckle, you're never gonna make it. Like, like God will show you the most unraveling mysteries and the most simplest ways. Like, although people are dying from this pandemic, People been dying in life all along before COVID-19, but it just now like they attached a bigger name to something and now everybody's so focused on this is what taking people out. People still getting robbed, people still getting shot, people still getting kidnapped, people still getting raped, people still getting stabbed, people still getting molested, people still just, people just doing all sorts of kind of things to people still. But you put the bigger focus on a disease or a, a virus, and you know, everybody like, this is what the main weapon is right now that's taking out people. Not just America, it's happening all over the world. But people been dying all along. But he's showing you in so many ways and so many lights that you don't have the time that you think you got. Like, 
you around here wasting time being negative and wasting time being pessimistic and wasting time being mad and wasting time trying to play games and wasting time trying to play with somebody's heart when you really should be out here cherishing the one because honestly if you got one person who genuinely reaches out to you to say they love you you should take that to heart you should cherish that because nowadays a lot of parents, a lot of friends, a lot of people ain't even telling people that they love their loved ones. You know, you have complete strangers that show you love faster than someone you've been rocking with for 20 years. And, and it's just a God and it's true. So I just want to say, you know, thank you God for enlightening. Thank you God for opening up eyes. Thank you God for showing us the most raveling mystery in the most simplest ways. You don't have the time you think you have. Like, cherish the people that's closest to you. Don't wait till they get sick to try to talk out a problem. Don't wait till their life is critical and they about to die to say, I'm sorry, or I forgive you, or I wish I had another day with you. Don't wait, that's too late. Like, get into that mind frame like, don't look at it like this day is my last day. Look at it like this second could be my last. You know how fast a second go? Damn. Like, you don't have that type, that type of time. And God is showing you right now in so many ways, you don't have it. That's why he said, I hold all power in my hand. I hold key, I hold the keys to life and death. Like, people, people take that as a joke. But when it happens to you, it hit different. Like if I want one thing from my uncle's life, losing him to COVID-19, is that you don't have the time you think you got. So cherish the ones in your life, cherish the people that love you, cherish the people that want to see you win, cherish the people that want to see you come up, cherish your positive influence. I don't care if you got a circle of two or three. If those people are helping you grow and mature you and help you making moves, cherish them. Cherish your kids, man. Like. I always talk about the seed. You are already grown, you the tree. You'll, you'll enjoy the lemonade, but it's your seed that's gonna enjoy the harvest and the fruits of it. I talk about that all the time. Like, I really want y'all to get it. The seed is so important, but you can't bear seeds if the tree is not strong and producing. Cherish your love.